Hello and welcome. It's a Thursday, the 22nd of February, 2024, and this is my second vlog of the month. So what is the meaning of February? Well, it comes from the Latin februra, which means purification. And it's the final full month of winter, which is traditionally cold, where ice and frost helps to kill off disease and weakness, allowing spring to bring everything back to life. Thank you, as usual, for watching and listening to my vlogs. If you enjoy them, please encourage others to subscribe and share. For us who live in the Northern Hemisphere, there used to be a definite structure to the seasons, especially in the UK. I recall when I was at school in the 1960s, there were charts on classroom walls showing pictures of autumn, the green leaves turning to bright yellows and golds and reds and purple, winter with snowdrifts and frost, spring with tulips, butterflies, birds and daffodils, and summer with sunflowers, fields of wheat, sunshine and beaches. And living in Ricelip in northwest London, I had the benefit of both town and countryside, Ricelip Woods, which is mentioned in the Doomsday Book, uh, was not far from us. And my brother and sister and friends used to play there for hours, every day, when we could. And the seasons were beautiful, each one of them with their own beauty. There was Highgrove House, which was next door to our indoor swimming pool. And there was Ricelip Lido, where we used to swim in the spring and summer months. And next to the indoor swimming pool at Highgrove House, there was a natural pond, and we used to play with frogs and newts and observe all sorts of flora and fauna. Now, why am I mentioning this, I hear you ask? Well, there are two main reasons. Firstly, people have been questioning why I talk about the importance of ecology and I'm old enough to understand what is meant by seasons changing. Over the years I've witnessed spring coming early and as a teenager there was the heat wave of 1976 where we had nine weeks of temperatures that were so high people were fainting. There was sunshine and no rain and this High temperature spell was previously experienced in the UK in 1911. As an adult, I've seen major flooding and bushfires and damaged homes and buildings caused by mother's nature's forces. <laughs> what I've also experienced is seen a rebirth, as if it were, with villages and towns being repaired and new defences being put into place. And it's amazing how other birds and animals cope with the changes that are taking place. Planet Earth is beautiful but ever-changing. And what we need is help from our leaders to live with the natural changes and clean up what damage we leave behind us. Well, thank you for listening. Until the next time, toodle pip.